Okay, well, I accidentally screwed up. So, here's the grill. Let's see how this works. It's not working at all. That looks like it works. All right. We'll fire this puppy up. All right, we're gonna let that heat up for a few minutes and I'll be right back. We have the Booker's for tonight. And you have lunch for next week. Yes. Well, into next week, yes. That's good. And I'm gonna to try to incorporate some of that fish into it. We are recording right now, by the way. Okay. So. I turn those knobs down just a little bit because this grill tends to get really hot really quick. Um, and I don't want to burn these guys when I put them on. What I want is uh, I want it to take at least a couple of minutes per side to put the grill lines on. And then I'm going to take them off. And, you know, everybody knows let meat rest. So that's what's going to happen. We right now are at almost 500 degrees. I'm gonna let it top out at whatever it's gonna top out at, which is probably gonna be close to um, 700 degrees. Actually, let me turn these down just a hair. We'll go with whatever it tops out at. You have to, I have to keep an eye on it. I can't just set a timer and say, this is the way it's gonna be. Um, these, this in particular meat is kind of the cheaper um, Walmart prefabbed burger deal. Mm -hmm. um, so these might shrink a lot. I hope not. I'm going to try to keep it around 500 and I'm going to keep an eye on the time. Um, that'll actually keep them from shrinking a lot, especially if you can take them off early and keep them warm. Um, they won't shrink near as much. But this meat is not ground chuck. It's, it's actually, um, it's like 80, I think it's 80%, 80% um, lean, however they do it. But. If they don't shrink, it's because they're from Kroger. <sighs> That's not necessarily true. If you make burgers, <laughs> if you make burgers out of ground chuck, ground chuck burgers, you have to make them three times the size yeah. that you want them to end up as. Because there's so much fat. Because there's so much fat there. Uh, ground chuck, you have to do that. I don't care where you buy it. It was cheap. I got it on sale. My grandmother that raised me used to work in a butcher shop and told me all the that. little tricks and secrets. But yet, I'd never had a porterhouse steak. So, oh. <laughs> you know, so. Yeah, we'll rectify that. All right. All right. I'm gonna pause the video for just a minute. All right. So here we go. We're, we're just over 500. That's what I'm going to go with with these. Because <clears throat> I'm a little worried. And I think what I'm going to do... I can't fit them all on the top rack. So I'm going to put them up over the baffles. The what? The baffles. That's going to keep the fire directly off of them. Because I have a sneaking suspicion that this meat you might have to show people what the baffles are. is going to try to, the grease coming out of it is going to try to catch fire. One more. So we're gonna time this at we're gonna time this at just a, probably about four minutes. You want me to go get my You don't mind. I'm gonna, I'm gonna rinse this off. I'm gonna rinse this off and pause this video. I'll be right back. Okay, so rinse this off clean. We 
Voodoo Queen is setting the timer for three minutes. I left my cigarette. I'll get them because I gotta get mine. Thank you, babe. No, yours are right there. Yeah, but I got a lit one in here. Oh, gotcha. So we're still gonna top out at just over 500 degrees. Just enough time to suck down a cigarette. <laughs> Anyways, I want to say um, thank you to um, all of you guys that have subscribed. Um, it, it was actually quite, uh, it was nice to wake up this morning with 25 subscribers. And as we went throughout the day, I ended up with 30. That's nice. Yeah. That was really cool. That's really cool of them. Um, Good people. I'm really digging this whole thing, you know. Really digging it. I can't wait to do a fishing video. Oh, I bet you can't. You can't wait to get the truck back so you can go fishing. Oh my god, that truck. Oof. I'm so worried they're gonna hit me with like a freaking fifteen hundred dollar bill that I can't pay. But they, you know. But they have the. You have your warranty that's still in effect. I have my warranty, and I'm a hundred percent sure they they're the ones that were. Yeah. You know, responsible for it, but. Yeah. I agree with you. Are you? Well, you know, I'll go argue with them. And I would. Uh, I'm in a rock. I'm in, I'm in between a rock and a hard place on this because on the decision, I would just be like, okay, fucking fuck it. I'll trade right. this one in, right? Get a new truck, blah blah blah. But you don't like the other ones. I don't like the newer ones. I hate them. Why would you pay for something you don't like? Oh, <laughs> right. There you go. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, that's a good way to put it. Yeah. Why would you pay for something you don't like or you despise? Yeah. You'd be better off paying for an extended warranty. Oh. Well, I did ask him about that. He told me he said, "Well, we got to take it in and get it certified, and blah blah blah." So I said, "Okay, well, that's their job. All right. you know, fix I, the issue that you caused, right? Right, and then we'll we'll talk about that. If it costs me two, three hundred, four hundred dollars, whatever to get it right. certified, it'll be worth it to me because I don't want. I don't think um, it costs you probably anything to get it certified. I don't know. I have no idea what that entails. I have not googled it. I'm not." research too. All I know is don't let them You'd be like, oh, that's a, that's a long process. Well, fuck, I don't give a fuck. That's your fucking job. Right. All right, so we've reached the four-minute mark. And I want to take a look at the bottom of these. Okay, so there's a lot of grease. All right, so I want to show you guys. I want to show you guys what you're looking at here. If you're looking at the, the, the quality of meat, which this is pretty much, um, it's more, it's more fat it's closer to chuck than it is not um, but you see see these little where I'm poking the spatula see these little grease balls but one thing you don't see is you don't see the flames rearing up so that's a good thing that means they're probably not going to shrink that much but down here on the bottom oh and down there, if you see those louvers down below where I'm poking with the spatula, that's what I was talking about, the baffles. That's probably what's keeping them from, from, um... Okay, so, see, we haven't gotten our lines yet. So, we're gonna go, we're gonna go another, uh, few minutes on the bottom, on that bottom side, is what we're gonna do. Alright. We're gonna set the timer for, uh, let's give it another four minutes. Uh, our temperature right now, it's it's down to close to 400 because I just opened the the lid, but um, our temperature is about is a little over 500. I'm sl I'm slow these because I don't want them to shrink. That's what I don't want, and I also don't want flames uh, everywhere. There's a burner on the inside of the grill. There's a baffle to keep the flames from uh, lapping up and catching the grease coming from the burgers on fire. Uh, so 
that's why I want them, I want the burgers over, you know, over the valves. So, we just set the timer for another four minutes. I'm not going to make you sit through another four minutes video. I'm going to pause it until the timer goes off. All right, so we're back at the four minute mark, which was eight minutes total. have burn marks. So here's what I'm going to do. Uh, Voodoo Queen, you want to set it for um, two minutes? Okay. All right, we're going to crank the heat. We're going to turn the heat up. Two minutes. You don't have to have that on both sides. I mean, you really Definitely. don't. Well, because, like I said, the meat will cook after you pull them off. Yeah. Um, I was going low and slow with this because I don't want them to shrink and I don't want them to burn up. But why do you want those in ones? Uh, the, the idea is that you sear it on both sides. Um, and once you take them off and it takes 10, 15 minutes to prep and by the time you sit down, they're, they're done all the way through. Gotcha. Um, that's the idea. Okay. Doesn't always work out that way. It's not aesthetic, so it's not like. Yeah, I mean, when you day. look at websites that are advertising burgers, I mean, don't they always have it sliced yeah. apart, and and then you see the lines perfectly yeah, the done across lines, it, yeah. the sear lines, right? Yeah. Well, I'm not Burger King or McDonald's, <laughs> um, and you paid. Uh, hard-earned money for those burgers that are hopefully not going to shrink yeah. you know what i mean i mean that, yeah. that's what it comes down to that's why i like that um that salmon recipe and yeah. it works real it worked really good on that trout and it worked really good on that tilapia yeah you know um that's why i like that with the foil instead of putting it directly on the grate and trying to rely on my skills to yeah you know flip the whole thing over i'd rather just put it in foil and I like putting a little bit of butter inside of it too, mm -hmm. um, because that butter melts over the whole thing. It may not be healthy for your heart, but it makes a damn good meal and you only leave live once. I mean, so, I don't right. know. It's time to go. All right. So now we're up to 650 degrees. And you can see, let's see. You can see how the flames are trying to lick everything. So, we're going to go ahead and we're going to flip these guys. And there's your lines. That's what you want. Oop. Only I want that on the other side. Okay. You guys can't really see it, but they have shrunk probably about a half inch per burger. We don't have the lines on every single one, but that's okay. Like I said, um, let's see. it's hard to hold a camera and do this at the same time. Right. Whew, we're leaving. Actually, I'm gonna turn this down. Goodness. We're gonna burn them. That one right there is already almost burned. Let's see, we're gonna turn these guys down just a hair. Um, I guess set it for another four minutes. Okay. But I don't think I'm gonna close the lid. I'm just gonna let this go the way that it is. There's plenty of heat there. All right, so I'm gonna pause it again, guys. All right, guys. Oh. Turn the camera around. These guys are done. No, they're done. Can we turn this off? Yeah. These guys are done. Well, there, actually, there may be two or three of them that aren't. So we'll pull the ones that are off. And 
basically want them to be like sausage cabinets. the heat gets directly to them. Mm -hmm. And this is the way they look. That's the way those guys look. That's the way the bottom looks. So we're going to give these guys just a... Oh, I might have just ruined one. Yup. Oh. Okay. So that's what we're going to do for those. This is the way the ones that are done look. And give it just a couple more minutes. I'm going to pause the video. Hang on. Sorry guys, I screwed up. Uh, we put them on for less than two minutes. The timer hasn't gone off. I went ahead and took them off because they're all perfect. Um, here they are. They were on for about a minute and 20 seconds. I think y'all should be seeing that. And it was these. Um, it's basically what you want. We got the grill lines and all that. Now I'm gonna instruct you on how to, in my opinion, properly turn your gas grill off. Now, I do not turn these off and then turn the gas off. What I do is I reach down here and I turn the gas off of the tank. What that does is that purges all the gas from the lines uh, between the tank and the burners. So I'll turn that off first. Verify that there is no fire. Yep, that means the, the gas burned itself out of the lines. It acts like a suction kind of deal. And then I come and I turn these guys off. Bada bing, bada boom. Everything is safe. Nobody's going to have any problems. Anyways, uh, we're going to go try these burgers out. And uh, we'll talk to you soon.